What's going on everybody? Um, here in my backyard is the back of my house. Um, and here is the shed, one of the big selling points of the house. Um, other than just how amazing the house is for my family, um, when we came and saw that I had a space like this, um, which you will see does not look like very much right now. Just had a group from Fairmont from the camp. Matt Pittman came and did the electric work to help uh, get my electric in here um, up and running. And I've been taking some shelves off, but this is just a, a shed, but I'm getting ready to turn it into a studio. But I just wanted to document it and keep up with the progress so you all could see what was happening. Um, plan on doing some you know, solo work in here, doing work with uh, uh, Water From Fire and Kevin Brawley, uh, one of my best buds. And I'm just gonna try to uh, document the progress all along the way so you can see how it all kind of comes together and what it looks like in the end. But uh, thank you for all the support that we constantly get um, uh, in our artistic community. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video as uh, we continue to build. Thanks. Clean off these walls, got to pull out this last little thing of hardwoods in the corner, and you can see it was full, full. The whole floor now is covered with ants. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So we just swept up a ton of ants. I got one more box left and a couple of boards and this whole thing will be cleaned out. So uh, we'll see how this last box goes. Hopefully not so many ants. So yeah, we, <laughs> we got the uh, last box out, but I was able to pull it out without it falling on the floor. As you can see, thank goodness I was able to do that because it was full. So yeah, this project <laughs> has been a tough one, but a project of love, and we're really excited about everything. And that was the last boards to come out of the ceiling. The walls are all clean, the ceiling's all clean, so now it's just time to insulate.
Hey, what's up everybody? It's a gorgeous day today. So I've been working back here in the studio. My buddy Kevin and I have been uh, working out here. So I'll show you a little update of what's been going on in the old shed. So um, got all the insulation put in. What, what? So it looks awesome. So thank you, Kevin. Then uh, we put in these uh, lights as well. Bam. So got a couple of those. And I'm getting ready to spend another hour, hour and a half or so, putting up as much sheetrock as I can. So it's a mess right now, but today I got all the walls sheet rocked. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. What's up everybody, it's February the 16th and today is a day I have been waiting for for a while. I uh, uncovered all of this beautiful, beautiful uh, tongue groove I purchased from Atlanta Hardwoods from my Bruce Monholland. And uh, so today I'm gonna get started on this tongue groove, start getting some of the aesthetics looking better on the inside of the studio. And uh, yeah, really pumped about it. Sunshine's finally out today. It's been a couple days of just rain, rain, rain. So finally get a chance to get some work done out here and uh, let's get to it. Got the base down, level all the way around, and I'll start running it up.
this was a long day, but got this and this wall pretty much done. It's looking good, so we will help her. So yeah, moving along. So it's another cold, wet one today um, outside. Blah. But um, I luckily thought ahead and moved some wood in here last night, uh, this morning, and also this morning before it started raining. So I started over here by the door. And I've worked my way around to that wall. And now I'm on this wall. I'm almost finished with that one. So just coming along. Um, so I've done all this. Um, on my own for the last few days. My dad's gonna come up today and uh, hopefully we'll either finish it out or get most of it done um, in a couple hours. But um, yeah, so it's moving right along and I can't wait to see what the next step looks like. Hey, what's going on everybody? So I failed to take any video yesterday. I wasn't really thinking about it. My dad was here and we only have like short periods of time together and where we can work together. Um, we just stay really busy. So we just, I took advantage of that and didn't worry about videoing. But we got, um, start here at the door, where you come in, and we got, of course I've got that corner. I did that yesterday, or a few days ago, and I did this wall, most of this wall. And then he helped me get this wall around that door, this wall, and this wall. So all the walls have been tongue grooved. I'm getting ready today to finish up the tops here, um, and then I'll start on the ceiling. But uh, yeah, got a lot done and really getting pumped about it. And just like that, the walls are done. I still gotta trim them out, but. Yes, sir. Getting her done. It's exciting. Finish the walls. And started running ceiling. Boom. Starting to come back the other way now. It's gonna be awesome.
So as you see, by the time lapse video, uh, we finished up the uh, tongue groove. My boy Aaron, Aaron from high school, yeah. up, came up. So got the whole room done, tongue groove. Time for the doors. So I showed you a little bit of the ceiling, got it primed yesterday, but today is a big day. Look at this. One is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, 72 degrees. This is the sun door. This door that's gonna be the sun. Painted this one, or stained this one as well. So it's turned out really nice. Now get ready to do the, get ready to do this, the sky on the ceiling. So yeah, more soon. So I haven't done a great job of really um, documenting what I'm doing on the outside, but I'll just tell you, I built these doors um, that are behind me, the sun and moon. Um, I just trimmed out the doors and put new lights on the outside. Um, I painted it a green and I didn't like the green. So I just went back to the store with some of the, this ivy behind me and matched the ivy to the green. So now it's popping, looking pretty good there, but um, get ready to paint this uh, top section here, top trim. Um, same color just to make it all match, but yeah, that's what I got going on the outside so far then I'm gonna move back to the inside, but So it's been a hot minute since I've actually recorded um, Which I should have kept up with more of it, but it's just been a crazy whirlwind had lots going on, but um, I've got my Double door turned into a single door with built-in shelves to replace what was the double door over there Tongue groove all the way around put in a split system over here uh, for AC um, I haven't finished doing the sky yet. I'm going to paint the ceiling like a sky. Um, my roughed in front doors are roughed in right now. I'm going to get those finished here pretty soon. And then all I like is flooring. And then this, you know, once I stain the walls and trim it out, then this will be a done deal. I'll start moving into the studio. So.
Hey, what's up everybody? It's May the 19th, 2021. I've been working on my studio since about September off and on, just when I got time. Today I worked on, so I, I you know, put tongue groove on my all the walls and then I took the extra tongue groove. I got a pile of tongue groove out there that I've been pulling from. And um, so I took the extra tongue groove and ripped it down and used the router and actually made all the baseboard trim. So I'm working on that today. I just got finished around the doors Bam, trimming out everything. I'm getting ready to add the quarter round. And then after that, just a few more touches and uh, this baby's gonna be done. Gotta do the, the molding around the, the top as well, around the ceiling. But um, then this place will be finished. I'll be opening up the studio for lessons and for recording and editing and that type of thing. So hit me up. Hey, what's up everybody? So it's uh, Thursday, May the 20th and uh, 2021. And I just finished, finished the studio for the most part. I just did a trim yesterday on the ceiling and the baseboards plus the quarter round on the baseboards and today i just went and bought four pieces of quarter round to kind of cover up the lines in the corner and, and tie in the trim all the way around so i just put those four pieces in all the corners it makes it really tie together nicely um the last thing i do i'm going to stain this shelf just the shelves the same brown color leave the tongue groove um, the natural color but stain the shelf to kind of tie it in with the other dark spots and then right now i'm getting ready to make a cover for this uh, electric box i've already put the trim around it i bought two little small hinges and i'm gonna make a little cover for the box there so that's what i'm gonna do now and then the studio is gonna be wrapped up other than staining that shelf so start moving in soon all right gang so i just uh made this little door real simple little plywood door that stained it the same color and everything put a hinge and knob on there to cover the electrical I was coming in, but that means the studio is done. I'll clean it up and do a walkthrough here in a little bit before I move the equipment in. But since September, I've been knocking this out and I finally got it done. But I may have my head in clouds, but I'm working hard. Oh, oh, isn't that hot? Isn't that hot? Oh, maybe I got Bam. So pretty. So yeah, just mop the floor, sweat the mop the floor. It smells good in here. Got the AC running. Built-ins are stained to match the other trim. So hot and so hot in here. I have a few other things that I want to do. I'm going to add a deck off of this side here, coming out that door, and a small one coming off the front of the studio. But, um, you can see how that double door, I turned it into a single door and put a bead board on the side to cover that wall to make it look nice. We done all the ivy and bushes, taking it out, so clean it up some. And then here is the final product. Some baffling I built right there. A little dehumidifier. And voila.